I'm going to show you how to use Loop Cloud to make a house groove in minutes from a library of over 3.5 million samples. Let's take a look. I'm starting by typing kick into the search field and then selecting the tag and then also house. Then clicking one shot and just choosing any kick sample below for now. Then I'll go to patterns and kicks and then house kick one. And there we have the four to the floor. Switching to track two then, I'll get rid of kick from the search field and type in snare for this one. And again, just choose any snare. And once again, I'll choose a pattern like house snare one. And bring down the level a bit. For track three, I'll go for a closed hat. And sequence the sample with house hats two or three this time. Removing some events if I like, as well as adjusting levels. Next up, I'll go with some percussion, like maybe a bongo. And I'll create a pattern myself this time. I can do this by just dragging an event, or by duplicating it. It sounds nice, but a bit dry, so I could add some reverb. And I can even automate the reverb amount across the pattern. Now I'll add some high frequency energy to the groove with a shaker. And I'll just pick a loop this time rather than sequencing a one shot. That one's good. And maybe a percussion loop now. It's a bit much as it is though, so let's work with it in the editor. I'll just loop the first bar. And now chop it up on some of the transients. Get rid of a slice. Make the last one a bit later. And add a fade at the end too. What will give this even more character though would be some shaping with a filter. There are some really good rhythmic LFO presets. And with a little bit of tweaking now, it's sounding lush. I think it could do with a bit more processing though, so let's go for a delay. And now for track seven, I'll change the tag to bass. And then we can check out some loops from the huge selection of available results. This one's nice. And for the final track then, I could search for synth chord loops. But maybe this time, I'll look in one of the packs that comes up. As you can see, all of the samples inside are tagged, so it's easy to find what I'm after. And as the bass is in F, I can use the editor's auto key feature to repitch any of these samples into F as well. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that one. 
are pretty good for only five minutes. And remember, all of these samples are still in the cloud. So now I can go back to any tracks and choose a different sample if I like. Then just purchase any that I don't own and then download and drag them out as individual or combined drum loops straight into the door. Creating music with your own samples, let alone samples you don't own, has never been this easy. Loop Cloud helps you manage your sounds, find new inspiration, and download and customize sounds and samples from Loop Master's entire library. Download the free version today, or take the 30-day trial, which lets you use all of the features and gives you two gigabyte of free sounds and 300 points. Check it out at loopcloud.com.